I teach you. You gotta watch the movie first and I'll teach you. Alright? But you are not an in. I will teach you what an in is. Alright? Can you talk about, um, can you talk about, um, oh, it's a commercial. So we, we had a homeschool, or we had a meetup, and you overheard some other kids, young kids, and they said something. Which at first, like, when you said you were going to teach him that he's not the N-word, I was like, oh, that might be too early. You know what I'm saying? But then I thought about it, the experience that we had recently, where we overheard some kids say, now they, oh, didn't, yeah. they didn't know that anything was behind them, and they got, you know, real uncomfortable when you know they realized that a brown man was standing behind him but would it well i don't know if you want to say it after but this is why we're so going to teach him weeks ago, little co -op that he is trip. not this and it wasn't the people who owned it it was just some of the attendees yeah down where we are probably like 10 11 having a conversation other people make me don't feel safe it's uncomfortable 10 years old around that age they were young kids and when i stood up and walked up with my little beautiful brown baby dress in the window. Start doing all this coughing and trying to uh, uh, uh. It's like, no, no, I heard it. Right. So you gotta teach your babies, protect your babies, validate your babies and show them who they are. So when people try to teach them who they're not, it don't matter. You gotta teach them, program them. You gotta program them the truth of who they are because the world's gonna try to program them with who they're not. System of Satan is designed to program them to be who they are not. We're not called to be savages. We're the only people I've seen take negative words and say foolish things like, I'm gonna turn a negative into a positive. The N-word was never positive. The, the term B was never positive. It was all derogatory. We're the only ones running around calling each other the same words that was used right before our people's reflects. Oh, that's my N. Oh, that's my B. The only people, they used to call you an N-B <laughs> before they would assault you or breed you and then take your baby and sell it. But we the only ones will. You know, I take away the effect. No, you are like that is that is. You got to understand epigenetics and generational trauma. There is trauma that your ancestors have associated genetically with the vibration and the frequency of that word that keeps them, that, that word was designed to make them feel like a certain kind of way. And that's carried genetically. People don't notice about genetics there's certain things that you can experience and there are certain things called triggers. That's why they call it a trigger. It activates certain genetics, right? So when you use the word that was programmed into the subconscious of your great, great, great grandparents and your grandparents even, and your great grandparents and aunts and uncles and mamas and daddies to associate, like it created a neurological pathway within a genetic sequence that would condition the body to behave a certain kind of way. Those were terms that were introduced when you were in a, your, your, your generations were in a place of subservience. So when those words are continuously cycled, what it does is it, 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 it activates certain genetics within your body to control your subconscious, to keep you in a place of bondage. When you don't elevate past a certain place because you were the term was used when you was at a time when you had a certain limitation of what you could be and what you could do in society. So why do you think the deception comes to say, oh, yeah, we're going to turn that word into something positive? No, you're not. You can never make that word mean what it don't mean. You can't even make the B word mean what it don't mean. By definition of a dictionary, it means a female dog. I don't care how friendly you try to make it, because if I run up to your mama and call you your mama, that is going to be a problem. We the only people that do that. And it's foolish. We the only people... You, we got slave food. Oh, we're going to turn this into a culture as part of our history. Why do we embrace the stuff that was used to kill us? And we glorify it and we refuse to let it go. Well, we're going to show you how to do these chitlins. Like they gave us a slop as a testament to strength. We, we took what they gave us and made it beautiful. No, you did. we did what we had to do because we didn't have no choice. You got a choice now. You're still indulging in the stuff that was designed to kill you. And you wonder why nobody respects you. Because you're the only people that take the stuff that was designed to kill you and embrace it like it's, like it's a tool of your culture and it's not your culture. It's a culture of the victim. It's the culture of you being demeaned and dehumanized. You bind to the things that dehumanize you. Ain't nobody else running around here talking about I'm a savage, I'm an animal, I'm a beast, I'm a gorilla. 
And then you call everybody king, and they ain't even worthy to be called no king. They ain't conducting themselves as a king. I don't call no woman no queen, because queen means whore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And mama's they don't not do that. queen. Man, mama's not a queen. Mama's just a girl. Mama's a beautiful woman. She's a strong woman. Is she a princess too? She could be a princess, but she can't be no queen. We don't raise no queens around here. We raise princesses and, and we have strong women, yes. And we raise kings. Yep, daddy's talking. I need you to hold on, alright? But yes, we raising kings and warriors. Alright? We the only culture who do it. We the only culture that look at somebody that come from an affluent background as though they less than us. Because they ain't struggle. They they didn't have to live like a savage. So because they not a savage, they weak. We need to victimize them. We need to victimize them because they came from a two-parent household. We need to emotionally traumatize them, bully them because they came from a two-parent household. They ain't really like me because they ain't come from the same background. They ain't have to sell drugs. They ain't have to, they, they, they mother wasn't selling her body to pay rent. Like that, why are we the only ones who glorify that? And as much as we say I'm not glorifying it, that's just the reality of my struggle and stuff. I know we glorify it. Why do you think people that's not from that background feel like they have to try to put themselves in a situation to create and cultivate that background for that experience? Because we've allowed ourselves to be deceived to believe that that is what validates your identity. That is not what validates your identity. That's what validates your victimization. Yes. You keep yourself in a subservient position when you when you play the victim. When you allow your when you glorify the victimization. Mm -hmm. Nobody else does that. We do it. And then we get glory in perpetuating the victimization of our people. They don't need spook hunters to come to your community no more. You are the spook hunter. Gangs were started to protect our communities. You picked up the mindset they had and now you persecute your own people. You lynch your own people. You give your people pumpkin heads. You give your people the Emmett Till treatment. It's ridiculous. And you glorify that. You glorify creating widows and orphans. You glorify victimizing these sisters because they ain't got no covering. You glorify preying on the innocent emotions of a sister that's looking for love. You lie, you deceive. And then you produce seed with somebody that you really don't and never intended to be with. And that produces hatred in the seed. They don't want to see you because you don't want to deal with it. And that hatred has to go somewhere. And it's gonna go internally first. Why they don't wanna be with me? Why they don't wanna be around me? Is there something wrong with me? Nah, something wrong with them. And then it creates the self-hatred. It creates that nigga mentality. So then you become exactly what they told you you was. They took you, they took your identity. The first, when you get incarcerated, the first thing they do is they take your name. And they give you a number. The first thing they do when you join a gang is you lose your name and you get a new name. The first thing they do if you're a human trafficking victim is they change your identity. Anytime you become captive, the first thing that they're going to take is your identity. Because the power is in knowing who you are. And the moment you realize who you are, you understand who you are not. And when you don't let anyone shake the understanding of who you are, that's what the true power is. Why you think when the slaves came over here, they stripped their identity. Black people in this country, so-called black people, we're not black, you're brown. The biggest secession when they tell you there's a black and there's a white. There's no black and there's no white. There's a brown that's connected to a tribe somewhere. An indigenous population somewhere. Everybody immigrates over, immigrates over here, they know where they are. Don't ask nobody where they're from, because they're going to tell you, oh, I'm from Arkansas, or I'm from Texas, or I'm from Colorado. No, where your last name from? Because the last name tells you where you come from. And unfortunately for many brown Americans that are descendants of the slave trade, you, 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 you can only get so far. So why don't you have an identity? And when you understand that the lack of identity is what produces this desire to be something, then you can break the narrative and the programming that causes you to seek out to be what they tell you to be. Then you will find your freedom. So parents, if you out there, teach your children who they are. But you can't teach them if you don't know who you are. Find who you are. Ask the questions in your family. If you don't know who your family is, you need to find your name. Take the name back. Trace the name. 
it's either going to take you to a plantation and you can look to see, okay, well, if, if I don't know the names of my people from Africa, but I know that the last name came from this plantation, do the research. What type of slaves did they bring from Africa? Where were, what were they, because you'll see they, they bought this type, why? Because this is the type of crop they produce. Okay, where did these slaves come from? You start to get the general idea and look to see who those people were back in that country. Even if you can't directly connect, you'll see. It don't mean you African, all y'all ain't African. There was all kinds of people in Africa. Not no Europeans, you know what I'm saying? Those, they came and were taking people. But you had a lot of people there. Africans had all kinds of tribes. They had Bible believing tribes. The Bible would tell you who I was over there too. Right? So you need to learn that. Some of y'all gonna be surprised to find out when you trace your when you trace your name that your people were never slaves. They came over here as free. Some of y'all came over here as free and your ancestors they got kidnapped into slavery. Though they came over here free. Some of y'all gonna realize y'all really connected to Native Americans. And uh they don't want you to know, and I say the proverbial day, but there's people who don't want you to know you're Native American. Why? Because when you find out and you can prove that you're connected to certain tribes here, it's free education, it's free health care, right? It gives you that sense of purpose again, because now your purpose is, let me find out who I am. If you don't know what you got going on in life, start a journey to find out who you are, and you'll find some purpose. It just does something to you with your identity, knowing that. And you'll also see that some of the land that, that no grandmother and them lost is still rightfully yours when you find out who you're connected to. So, that's my tidbits, that's my thoughts, that's my TED talk, it all comes down to identity. When you don't know who you are, you will be everything they told you to be because you're looking for who you are. And they're gonna put everything in front of your face to make that you're gonna try to latch on to. They told you that black is poor, so you adopt that. You ain't really black if you ain't struggle. You ain't really black if you ain't have to get no shootout. You ain't really black if you ain't done time. If you went to jail, if you wasn't incarcerated. You ain't, it don't make sense. We're the only ones who do that. We're the only ones who buy to that negativity and embrace it and identify with it. You gotta stop identifying with the tool of psychological control or you will forever be controlled and you will program that into your children. Break that narrative. Reprogram the mind of your child before they program it. It might be too late for you. Some of y'all is too late for it. My goal ain't even to reach some of y'all no more because y'all mind is just it's too hardwired. It ain't gonna change. But this youth out here, why you think that why you think the target is the youth? They brains are just now making neurological connections. There's certain genetic trauma traits that have not been activated in them if you guard them properly. So they're trying to activate these genes at an early age. They are trying to trigger these traumatic behaviors, thinking patterns and responses at an early age. They're trying to program them because their mind is being programmed. Learning and playing is how they learn. They're learning from you. What you do is what's programmed in their brain. What you let them watch is pro that's it's programming. You got to program them properly. Because if you don't program them properly, just that's, get that phone out there. Get that thing. All this stuff is programming. It's computer programs. What you think these programs is doing? That's all I got.